Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Um, Inspector Coleman, you're the Inspector General for the Federal Reserve, right? Okay. That's correct. Have you done any investigations concerning the Federal Reserve's role in deciding not to save Lehman Brothers, which led to shockwaves that went through the entire financial system? Um, in that particular area, you know, I don't generally comment on specific investigations, but we do not currently have an investigation in that particular area. All right. What about the $1 trillion plus in expansion of the Federal Reserve's balance sheet since last September? Have you conducted any investigations regarding that? We, right now we have a, um, it's called, we call it a review, and uh, so I don't know if you, the term investigation may have different uh, connotations. So we're actually conducting a fairly high-level review of the various lending facilities collectively, which would include, um, you know, the TALF, um, a variety of the different programs that are in process. So we're looking at them at a fairly high level to identify risk. Well, I understand that, but we're talking about events that started unfolding eight months ago. Have you reached any conclusions about the Fed expanding its balance sheet by over a trillion dollars since last September? We have not yet reached any conclusions. Do you know who received that money? For the, we're, we're in the process right now of, of doing our review and. Um, right, but you're the Inspector General. My, answer, my question to you specifically is do you know who received that $1 trillion plus that the Fed extended and put on its balance sheet since last September? Do you know the identity of the recipients? I do not know. We have not looked at that specific area at this particular point on those reviews. In what about um, Bloomberg's report that there are trillions of dollars in off-balance sheets transactions that the Federal Reserve has entered into since last September? Are you familiar with those off-balance sheet transactions? You know, I, I think it may be um, important at this point, too, just to bring up um, a certain aspect related to our jurisdiction. And just to, to clarify perhaps some of my earlier uh, comments, we are the Inspector General for the Board of Governors, and we have direct oversight over board programs and operations, and are also able to look at board delegated functions to the reserve banks as well as um, it's o the board's oversight and supervision of the reserve banks. We do not have jurisdiction to directly go out and, and audit reserve bank activities specifically. Nevertheless, in our lending facilities project, for example, we are looking at the, the board's oversight over the program and uh, to the extent that extends out to the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Well, I have a copy of the Inspector General Act here in front of me, and it says, among other things, that it's your responsibility to conduct and supervise audits and investigations relating to the programs and operations of your agency. That's correct. So I'm asking you if your agency has, in fact, according to Bloomberg, extended $9 trillion in credit, which, by the way, works out to $30,000 for every single man, woman, and child in this country. I'd like to know, if you're not responsible for investigating that, who is? Now, we actually... We have responsibility for the Federal Reserve's programs and operations audits to conduct audits and investigations in that area. Um, in terms of who's responsible for investigating, would you mind repeating the question one more time? What have you done to investigate the off-balance sheet transactions conducted by the Federal Reserve, which according to Bloomberg now total $9 trillion in the last eight months? I'll have to look specifically at that Bloomberg article. I, I'm not, um, I, I don't know if I have actually seen that particular one. That's not the point. The question is, have you done any investigation or auditing of off-balance sheet transactions conducted by the Federal Reserve? At this point, we're at the very, we're conducting our lending facility project at a fairly high level and have not gotten to a specific level of detail to really be in a position to respond to your question. Have you conducted any investigation or auditing of the losses that the Federal Reserve has experienced on its lending since last September? We're still in the process of conducting that review. Until we actually, you know, go out and, and gather the information, I'm not in a position to really respond to, to the specific question. So are you telling me that nobody at the Federal Reserve is keeping track on a regular basis of the losses that it incurs on what is now a $2 trillion portfolio? I don't know if 
you're, you're telling me that there, you're mentioning that there's losses. I'm just saying that we're not, until we actually look at the program and have the information, we are not in a position to say whether there are losses or to respond in any other way to that. To that particular Mr. Point. Chairman, my, my time is up, but I have to tell you honestly, I am shocked to find out that nobody at the Federal Reserve, including the Inspector General, is keeping track of this.